As cleanup efforts continue in West Virginia after deadly and devastating floods ripped through the state last week, a Lancaster based company will be packing a truck full of donations and heading down south to help. News 11 Sarah Veronis joins us now live in the control center with more Sarah. Shannon, dozens of counties in West Virginia are now picking up the pieces after a deadly line of thunderstorms wiped through their state, causing some of the worst flooding in the state's history. At least 23 are confirmed dead and thousands are homeless, but local company Landcore Logistics, they're lending a helping hand. It's a scene that's hard to look at for West Virginia native Becky Horn. Some of the rivers were 14 feet above flood level. The deadly West Virginia flood that destroyed communities across her home state just last week took the lives of nearly two dozen and have left thousands homeless. Oh, it's terrible. They're, they're still living in tents and it's terrible muddy conditions and things have been washed away and I just can't imagine what that would be like to lose everything. So I just wanted to step up and, and try to help as best I could. Becky now lives in Lancaster County, working as the vice president of Landcore Logistics in Raffo Township. And she has come up with a way to help those devastated by the floods. Since we're a trucking company, I thought the best way to do that would be to collect the donations and take them down ourselves. With her family fully on board, including her sidekick and seven-year-old son, Owen. There's still tons of water in there. Uh -huh. They need help. Becky began collecting donations at her office. So we're just trying to get everything we can to try to make their life a little easier right now while they're trying to, to come back from the storm. I want to load up the truck. Now it's basic essentials like toothpaste, cleaning supplies, and water that the victims of the flood desperately need. And it's locals from across the area that are stopping by to chip in. We thought it would be a great time to help, and uh, we just uh, went out and got some water and some bleach and uh, some paper towels, and we decided, yeah, that we, we wanted to help. West Virginians have a long road ahead as they continue to pick up the pieces, but Becky hopes their donations will provide a bright moment during this dark time. Everybody in West Virginia is family. Now the truck is leaving from the company full of donations tonight and they are heading to West Virginia. But if you wish to donate, they said they plan on sending more trucks down throughout the week so you can drop off any donations at their headquarters. Live in the Control Center, Sarah Veronis, News 11.